Abel. From what? The blood of righteous Abel. Why is God talking about Abel right here, man? <laughs> Why is God talking about Abel right here? What was Abel talking to Cain about? Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Righteous Abel was trying to tell wicked Cain not to take the way of Satan and turn around and do what's right. And just like all other prophets that went to Israelites and tried to tell them to do the right thing, he was killed. Do everybody understand that? Cain killed him. Do everybody understand that? Yeshabim, let's go back. Let's read it again. Verse 25. Read the 34th verse on down. Wherefore, behold, I sent unto you prophets. Read on. And wise men. Read on. And scribes. Read on. And some of them you shall kill and crucify. And some of them shall you scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Read on. That upon you may come all the righteous blood. Read on. Shed upon the earth. Read on. From the blood of righteous Abel. Because that's the same thing that happened to Abel. That's why the Lord is mentioning Abel here. Everybody understand that? Read on. Unto the blood of Zacharias. Because the same thing happened to Zacharias. Read on again. Son of Barakai. Read on. Whom you slew between the temple and the altar. Everybody see that, right? Yeah. So he mentioned he mentioned some examples. He gave some examples of some of the men that these things had happened to. And the first one he mentioned was Abel. Do everybody understand that? Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to Genesis and let's finish this up. Let's go back to Genesis, the fourth chapter. And we're going to read the eighth verse again. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field. Read on. That Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, Read on. and slew him. See, the only problem is what Abel didn't re rec recognize and realize is during the time that he came to Cain and tried to persuade Cain not to be evil and wicked against God and not to make the decision to do the right thing, that Cain already made up his mind that he was going to serve Satan. Do everybody understand that? Do everybody understand that? Remember, I don't say nothing unless I got something else. You think I'm finished? This class ain't over, brother. This class ain't over. Now, Cain already made up his mind that he no longer wanted to serve Christ. He had an attitude with Jesus Christ. Everybody understand that? And he wanted to serve Satan, so he killed his brother Cain. Everybody got that, right? Okay, give me the 12th verse now. Let's jump to verse 12. When thou tillest the ground. Actually, read on down. Read the ninth verse all the way down. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? Now, after Cain killed him, he buried him, you know, and tried to hide the evidence. Read on. And he said, I know not. And Cain said, I know not. Read on. Am I my brother's keeper? So y'all see the attitude that Cain got, right? Like he don't even want to talk to God. <laughs> Am I my brother's keeper? First he lying. <laughs> and that's that old serpent been lying all the way from the beginning in the Garden of Eden. Then he said he don't know where Cain is, which, is, which was the lie. And am I my brother's keeper? Read on. And he said, what has thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Cain's spirit, our uh, able spirit was already in the heavens with God. Read on. 
and now I die cursed from the earth. Now Cain is receiving a double whammy now. Now are he cursed from the earth. Read on. Which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Read on. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Now, whatever fruit he was getting out of the ground, the Lord done put another curse on that. So he was catching hell getting the fruit that he was getting. And the Lord called that the earth strength. That little bit of fruit he was getting. Now he ain't going to be getting nothing. Do everybody understand that? Read on. A fugitive and a vagabond. Now he's going to be a fugitive because in order for him to survive, being that he can't take care of himself no more because his occupation is cursed, he's going to have to be wicked and evil. He's going to have to go around stealing and robbing. A fugitive and a vagabond. Fugitive is somebody that's running from justice. A vagabond is a bum. Do everybody understand that? A fugitive and a vagabond, read on. Shall thou be in the earth? Shall thou be in the earth? So the Lord, being that he chose to be wicked, this is why God put that judgment on him. Because the only way he's going to be able to survive now is by being wicked as hell. Do everybody understand that? Read on. And Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. And Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear because he had no way of being able to support himself. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Read on. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth. Read on. And from thy face shall I be hid. Read on. And thou shalt be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. Read on. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And okay, Lord, now, everybody got that, right? So go back to the 12th verse again. Read the 12th verse again. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Okay, from there, let's go to Job 22. Job chapter 22. Okay, we almost finishing up here. Job chapter 22. And um, it's going to explain to you what was going on with Cain and what was his attitude while he was talking to Christ. Um, Job chapter 22, verse 15. Read that again. 22, 15. Read. Has thou marked the old way? Read that again. Has thou marked the old way? Have you marked the old way? Read on. Which wicked men have trodden? Which men, wicked men have trodden down. Talking about the way that Cain went down. Everybody got that? The path that Cain took. Did you mark that? Do you know what happened? Do you know what really went on? Read on. Which were cut down out of time. Which were cut down out of time. Read on. Whose foundation was overflowing with a flood. Because of the wickedness that Cain's sons had spread throughout the earth. Everybody understand that? Done. Read on. Which said unto God. What did Cain and his sons say unto God? Read it again. Which said unto God. Read on. Depart from us. What did they say unto God? Depart from us. What did they say unto God? Depart from us. We know it's talking about that time because it told us about that in the verses above that. Read the 15th verse again. Has thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden? The old way which wicked men have trodden, the old path that wicked men walked down. Read on. Which were cut down out of time. Which were took down out of time. Read on. Whose foundation was overthrown with a flood. Whose foundation was overthrown with a flood. Who, re who was, what was the reason the flood came? Who fought was that? Who fought was that? Who fought was that? Let's just go back and read about it real quick. Get Wisdom of Solomon 10. Hurry up. Get Wisdom of Solomon 10 and read the third verse again. Wisdom of Solomon 10, verse 3. But when the unrighteous went away from her in his anger. Is that talking about Cain, everybody? Yeah. Read on. He perished also in a few where he be murdered his brother. Read on. For whose cause? For what? Whose cause? For whose cause, everybody? Yeah. I want to hear y'all. For whose cause, everybody? Yeah. Who was responsible for this, everybody? Yeah. Read on. The earth being drowned with the flood. Wisdom again preserved it. So the scriptures is telling you that it was because of Cain the flood came on the planet Earth. Everybody understand that? Right. So let's go back to Job, the 22nd chapter, and let's read the 15th, the 16th, and the 17th verse again. Read it again. As thou marked the old way, God told Cain to make a decision, make a choice. Serve me or serve Satan. Now, God, that message is not just exclusive to Cain. God is telling everybody that, is he not? He said, no man can serve two masters. Either you're going to serve one and hate the other, right? You cannot serve God in Baal. He told you that. And he gave Cain a choice. So have you marked the way that Cain went down? What path did Cain take? Read on. Which wicked men have trodden? Read on. 
which were cut down out of time, which were cut down out of time. Read on. Whose foundation was overflowing with a flood. Read on. We said unto God. Now we're gonna get the attitude and the words and what Cain taught his children and what Cain himself said unto Jesus Christ. We said unto God. Read on. Depart from us. Do what? Depart from us. Read on. And what can the Almighty do for them? Everybody. Mr. King, oh, I said,